So, let's see. All right. No mods on. Let's go. I think music is turned off in game too. Bounce. Oh, I gotta get ready to extinguish fires. <laughs> I don't know if you're still here, Darren, but I don't know if you've seen any of what we've been working on in Noita. We're doing a lot of crazy stuff. This is my wizardarium. <laughs> We're collecting every material, building my own base building my own test tubes. Eventually, we're going to mix everything together using no mods. Oh, I have a full thing of moss now because moss just grows on the surface here everywhere. So I, it's easy to collect. I got plastic. We got glue. The toxic rock flask broke, but whatever. This probably is going to break at some point. We got a full flask. Of, I mean, a full uh, vat of peat and swamp. Now, those are the newest additions. And then... I have these two statues here now. What's up, XL? How you doing? Should I just call you Hookah? <laughs> You're a Hookah! Sorry, I'm just quoting one of my favorite movies. Grandma's Boy. If you haven't seen it. It's about video game testers. One of which lives with his grandma, and it's hilarious. All right. <laughs> drive, monkey, drive. We got to take care of these guys. So I deleted yesterday. Ah, the fish still beach themselves, man. You stupid fish. What do I have to do to make you not beach yourselves? Put it more vertical so you can't get up there? Whatever. Meh. I need to build a waterfall now. A replenishing waterfall. Oh. I wonder if we could. I'm just like theory crafting this now all of a sudden. Alright, let me... I wonder if we could... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, Have like a little pool over here, not connected to this one. A little pool over here. With... Hmm, we don't want the fish to touch it. If I can make like a grating of any kind so that the fish can't get into it carefully, like maybe poke holes with like a luminous drill, make like a grating so the water can go through, but the fish can't. And then in there will be a kioskivi that evaporates the water and then the water goes up. I mean, the, the steam collects up here and then recondenses into water and then pours down and then hopefully the fish stay in the pond. <laughs> Anyway, maybe that's uh, overthinking it a little bit. But I mean, now that I said that, I kind of want to try it. All right. Anyway, so I'm going to address YouTube because I'm very far behind on the uploads of the VODs. And I think I might skip some because there are some VODs that like probably we don't really do anything. We don't get anything done. So I might just skip to this and then just kind of show things like how'd you do this we didn't like the last vod i uploaded was us was me building the little fish pond and so all of that is on there on youtube but uh i think this is i just like gray rock i just made some rock and like broke it I broke a flask here to keep them in there but i need to make some more rock because i dug over here because i want them to follow me over here so they're far enough away from Colmy so that they don't get turned into Stevens when I do the end of everything. Yes, the the plastic is from collecting shells. Yep. And then I want to like seal them in here so they have their own little cave over here further away so I don't have to kill them. But for now, hang on. Hello. Okay, the Hamas is happy. So I have to do our daily pet. Um... Yeah, so here, for YouTube purposes, I'm also going to 
We'll show base 500,000 antipoly. Oh, I was listening to uh, music very loud when I was doing this. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play that right now because I don't want to get uh, DMCA'd. Not that, I don't know. It's like, whatever. The fish. I brought the fish to the pond like so. They're in here someplace. Oh, they're right there next to me. So I just took them from up surface and then brought them all the way down into the lake from one pond to another. So, yep, here we go. And I just dropped their asses in there. Beautiful. Now they won't stay in there. All right. And then freezing liquid farming was basically just... Uh, oh, did I already... Yeah, that's, I just did divide by on the rock spirit summon and just collected freezing liquid in there because they bleed freezing liquid when they explode. All right, that's how I got that. And then plastic farming was, I just did it like this. I don't mind taking a lot of time doing stuff. You can get plastic from the, um, the glue PC and you can also get a different kind of plastic from the, the certain vases are plastic. And then some of the decorations in the Heesey Base bars, those old bottles, potion bottles, those are made out of plastic. And you can melt those down to get a different kind of molten plastic. But I was just chilling out watching somebody stream Freshtopia. I was hanging out on Freshtopia's stream while I was doing this. And just like... Every time the shotgunner shoots, a single pixel, a red pixel flies off and it's plastic and you can collect that plastic in a bag. And I, it didn't take that long, you know, an hour pretty much. Yeah, I want to get some redfish as well and a lamprey, I think. Anyway, that's not for today, though. So that's how I got the plastic. I'm making a video about all this. And then the moss, to get the moss out, this moss just naturally, hang on. Oops. Moss just naturally collects uh, on rock surfaces. So you just pour it out. You can't eat the plastic, but you can eat moss. So you just go down there and plastic has no uh, collision. So it's very easy to separate the moss from it. So I just did that, basically. Uh, okay. Hey, Lim. Happy hammies. Yep. All right, so let's go get... Now, let's go get the end of everything. Uh, I have to get another wand from Parallels. Lim, what is the easiest rock to make in a flask? Or the easiest way to get... Mm, easiest way to get a rock... Or, I guess maybe, does the explosive detonator spell despawn infinite platforms or infinite walls? Because if I could just cast an infinite wall over here to keep the hammies blocked in here, then uh, that would be cool, actually, if I could do that. Yeah, Hooka, you can join the Noita Discord the alchemy channel in there. Lim is a uh, regular in the eyes channel as well. It doesn't despawn platforms. That's, that's awesome. Okay. So that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. We'll uh, make an infinite wall in there. So I need a wand first. Uh, let's just go get the end of everything. Okay. Whoops, we gotta go up here. How you doing, Lim? And how you doing, everyone else? Oh, also, let me know if the stream, especially when I teleport, let me know if the screen gets very jittery and kind of stuttery looking, because I changed... I've, I forgot which mode I have to play... Uh, Noita in for the best viewing experience. There's some because I stream uh, 
what do you call it display capture so that they i don't so that if i t click on my other monitor you guys can still see everything on the screen you know um is it bad just let me know because there's uh you have to change one of the when you record like just normally normal gameplay is fine but if you if you record or stream noita uh it has trouble with some of these or whatever depending on your capture method so right now i have it on windowed i think that's what i should have it on but if like if the screen kind of gets stuttery and stuck in place and skips frames and stuff like my other monitor always looks a little stuttery for whatever reason like obs preview window always looks a little stuttery I don't know why I'm using two of the same exact monitors, same display port cables and everything. Same settings. Don't see anything weird. Okay. Just want to make sure. Uh, just want to make sure. All right. Beautiful. All right. Now. Uh, not input. That's all. Streaming's off. Good. So I was doing streaming stuff yesterday, last night. I just like that music. Okay. What am I doing? Alright. Now... I don't want to let the egg melt, but it's funny. All right. Uh, this one, we need 18 slots, actually. So let me go to parallels. Let me just get rid of my uh, attack wand. And let's go get the... Uh, a wand of swiftness, I guess. Can I use the Wand of Multitudes for, like, a uh, infinite platform build? Is that going to mess it up? I don't remember. I got to pull up the build again, too. I don't, don't remember it. And also, man. So this I got last night. The Swamp, while I was chilling out on somebody's stream again. Swamp is so difficult to get. Like, just pure swamp. Well, sort of. It's like, peat is easy. Peat is created by disturbing swamp. The liquid swamp. This stuff. If I was to try to flask this right now or jump in it, it would all turn into peat. Like, so much peat would get created in there. The way that I made this swamp with very minimal amounts of peat in it is by having toxic sludge. A whole thing of toxic sludge and then just slowly dripping mud into it. And the mud turns it into swamp. But yeah, peat is easy to get. And so is, you know, the, what do you call it? The uh, moss, moss is literally everywhere. So like getting that stuff is super easy. And dark swamp, yeah, but like, where do you get dark swamp? I, I. I know it's created slowly in the jungle, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So, like, Dark Swamp is very rare for me right now, unless there's, like, a tried and tested way to get it very easily. Okay. So, we got that. Um, let me just leave the attack wand here. I don't need that. Oh, wait. First, I guess we'll teleport back like this. Uh... Put one of those there, and then I'm going to be dropping this wand, but I can always move that over there. Okay. Let's move one of these here with this. Okay. That'll work. All right. Um, 
let's go to east clouds. I wish it was easy to get a, a flask of cloud. Or just cloud in any way. I wish it was easy. Wouldn't it be awesome to turn, like, water to cloud? <laughs> not really. That would not be cool, actually. Cloud we'd have to just get from Great Treasure Chests, which is, we're, we're going to do some of that today. But, you know, trying to get specific things from Great Treasure Chests is not, whoops, not really the easiest thing. I think I already, we got to go to this one. Let's just teleport through. Nice. <clears throat> Ow. Did you teleport me? Okay, that's fine. It's so nice not having to care at all about them right now. Well. Lim, have you heard that Priskip had infinite poly immunity and then still got polyed? <laughs> I guess there's some some kind of way for you to still get polyed. Like a glitch. Anyway, would you miss? Uh, we just teleported into like East World 2. Queso. Mm. Spicy. You put like jalapeno in there and stuff. Uh, where am I going? Oh, yeah. I love you, by the way. Hello. I love you. <laughs> If we're going to start farming EOE, I recommend Spells to Acid. Yeah. Um, I have it. Should I put Spells to Acid on a very fast wand? Like just with a chainsaw and stuff to just spam it constantly? Do, do, do. It always turns to peat. For Pete's sake. Whoops. For Pete's sake. It's easy to isolate in a flask once you you pour it out. Mm. Summon Swamp Spell. Yeah. Can we buy the Summon Swamp Spell down in hell and stuff? Or do you have to do the quest to get it? We can just find that in like an eye room, right? It's rare, but does it spawn in the workshops? Is it possible for me to get that now? Like once you do the fish rain, you can't get, like I got the summon fish spell from the fish rain. Can, can I do fish rain again in parallels? Probably not, right? You don't even have to unlock it. It's funny. That was close. Alright, I'm gonna take this one. 19 capacity. You keep that. That's my gift to you. Uh, I guess... I guess that's it. For now. I guess I don't even have to use this, but sure. Do that. I forgot we have. Okay. Uh, and then. Let's see. Pick up this. Um, let me just build this. <clears throat> also, Lim, do you think that this is far enough away? Uh, so these guys won't. These guys are far enough away. They're all the way out here. Okay. Is it just... Within the same chunk? 
So like Comey is here. And if I lock the hammies in here, is that far enough away? Do you or do you think I should move it further? Without I don't want them to turn into Steve's. Okay. Seems kind of close, though. But still, if they do get turned into it, it's not the end of the world. Now, they're going to be sealed in here, so I could just go in and kill them. <laughs> it's got to make sure that they're like... Hmm. I might make this a little bit longer. Pertenko, hello. Uh, hang on, let me, I'm catching up. I had AP recipe that called for swamp and ran into this issue. Yeah. Getting the dark swamp. I think it, it gets created naturally in the, in the jungle from water touching the lush soil. I think lush soil <clears throat> and water makes it, but I don't know how fast it makes it. But it seems to happen naturally. And there you can get the, uh, there's a different formation that has, it's filled with that swamp liquid. But, and especially if you get the, uh, the bio modifier, uh, I forgot which one, what it's called, but it has, there's pockets of swamp everywhere. Plant infested, probably. Hmm. Can't get cloud from great treasure chests. Oh, well. Yeah. Cream cheese, cheddar, Velveeta, jalapenos. Oh, yeah. Man, that sounds good. If you shift something into an ingredient for AP or LC, will it work? Or do you transform materials not? It can, They count for... Meow. They count for uh, formations or for like the uh, nullifying altar. So I think they still count for AP and LC. But I actually, I haven't looked up AP and LC recipes outside of this... Excuse me, outside of this run in years, like in a couple of years, probably. Um, and I haven't encountered AP or LC really in a very long time. Like for the amount of runs that I do, I do a lot of speed runs, but I do many, many runs of this game. And I it's been like two years, probably, since I've seen AP or LC at all. Like, I just don't see it. Outside of like a mod, the, the modded run where we had a flask of it or a vial of it that spawned as an item. The healing crystal might get turned into Steve though. And now nah, it should be fine. That. Um, hello, big banana blunt. The mud one, to make this, there's two types of swamp, by the way. Like, this swamp is the liquid swamp. Or, like, this is the light light green swamp. And then there's the brown swamp, which is like a thicker, it looks like mud, muddy water. You know, it's really dark. Dark, dark green. Different type of swamp. And uh, I tried it. I tried making it. And it did not seem to happen quickly. Maybe I just didn't. I tried pouring water on lush soil and yeah, just waited for five minutes and nothing. Um, all right. So now we are building that. I got to look this up real quick. Do, 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 do 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 All right. I'm just making this one. Okay. Mana. Sure. Chainsaw. Sure. Double. Let's just smack. Uh, reduce lifetime. Whoops. Long distance cast. 
Double, triple. Oops. Reduce lifetime. Reduce lifetime. Increase lifetime, which I have another one right here. We got plenty of increased lifetimes. Jeez. Double. Chain. Whoops. Chain. Ping pong. Ping pong. Invis. And wall. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like trying to make that. Here, come here. Hey. Hello. I give you pets. You must follow me. Come on. I know there's more than just one. They're, they all pile together. Yeah, they're starting to separate now. Now come all the way over here. Look at this. Hey, you want pets? I love how we have like an actual mascot and pet in the game now, you know? It's so good. It, who would have thought, I mean, Noita needed it, right? Well, now we can pet something. It's so good. <laughs> like we could always befriend things by pouring pheromone on them or whatever. But uh, now we could actually... Nice. Lock them in here. There we go. And I have my invisible gate, which maybe I should have taken invisible spell off to make it look nicer, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, okay. Okay. That is finished. I want to take this slow... Uh huh. We're gonna grab. Divide by 10. We got Slime Cloud. We got this. We got. Those. Okay. I'm gonna keep this wand here. Let me just. I might go get other wands. Don't need that. Parallel world travel. Um, Maybe we'll go get another wand real quick because we have the first wand. I'm not gonna need... Here, should we get two wands? Uh, what do I not need at all? We don't, let's just drop the last two maybe. Let me go get other wands. <clears throat> uh. Hmm. Hmm. able to get anything. I mean, we have these. Alright. <clears throat> you can pet it? Yeah, you can pet them if they're charmed. Now, nah, in beta. Yeah, only them. They're special. Yeah, I got these from an egg. One of the purple eggs. The purple eggs give you the hammies. The chili eggs. And, uh, yeah, then you can pet them. They blow up, though. <laughs> There's a 10% chance for them to explode out of pure happiness if you pet them too much. Uh, sure, whatever. So we found a technique to make a flammable gas flask that is re reliably at least 50% or greater. 
I spent like an hour trying to do this. Reliably, probably not. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Lim might know. Acid with any material and then pour the acid out quickly. Nah. All right. Oh, we're in West Snowy. Let me grab just any dinky wand. This is going to be like a sacrificial wand. I'm just going to use it because I might have to dig. And I don't want to rip everything off here to do so. Just need a, like a decent enough wand. Reverse mana. That's amazing. How do we get that amount of poly immunity? Like this. I should have commands for literally everything, so linking to videos. Oh wait, wrong one. I got a million tabs open. Like so. This is what, how you could do it faster than this, but I don't care. Like I, uh, I was watching, like, you know, multitasking, watching, hanging out with people, drinking beer and stuff, and like, you know, working on stuff in this run, such as this. I did this off stream because it takes a while. Just basically br brought a polymage to my base along with a necrobot, and the polymage you can eat it, and then the necrobot revives it basically and just sat there doing that for a while and uh i'm making a video for all this stuff but it might be two videos like one video talking about the the more base buildy stuff how to do certain things and then another video going into all the alchemy like all the new alchemy uh finds discoveries and uh how to obtain certain materials easily or whatever, or, you know, like chili water, you know, and obviously Lim and uh, Tisona. God damn it. I can never remember their name. <laughs> obviously, when I make the video, I'm going to make sure I get the name right. Um, Tissimo. Uh, they've taught me a lot of things. And... Uh, you know, how to get plastic if you want plastic. And we could, you could do that in just like easily, fairly easily, if you have a little bit of patience. Hello. Just collect plastic, like more than one pixel, I would say, of plastic just from shotgunners. Easily done with a bag, with a pouch, powder pouch. Just make sure you have like, you could do it with one pixel, but you just want to make sure you don't have any other pixels in there of anything else. And then you can shift it in beta. Imagine shifting, like, I don't know, lava to plastic. <laughs> oh yeah, wait. I, I'm in hindsight, I wish that I brought my uh, teleport wand with me, but whatever. Like my other teleport wand. Anyway, yeah, so like a video going into that or like how to get chili water, like toxic sludge does not react with chili water in that way. Like, well, it does like you can you just add add water to chili water and you end up with more chili water. It doesn't like make regular water, you know, just thing a, a video about things that like 99% of people are not going to care about. <laughs> Uh, this sucks. Let me just get, I could get any wand actually. Let's just go down here. We just need, we don't need a tower wand. We just need a wand that's better than this one that I 
stole or whatever. Just go down the Walmart. I'm sure we'll find something that's pretty good. If I could find my way down there. Am I on the right side of the pyramid or the left? I'm on the on the left, right? I didn't go far enough across. Shit. Ah. Well, hey, I'm. It's time to reminisce about the uh, the times when there was nothing in the desert chasm at all, just this, and we'd be like exploring it, looking for things back in early access. Like, this place is so weird and alien. Like, what does it mean? I don't have any water in here, so I got to go get a drink at some point besides this. I didn't think that that had that. Huh. It's a QR code. What's up, Zach? What's up, Zaximus? I almost spit everywhere. I drooled everywhere. I did not try the box 2D reaction. <laughs> nah, not yet. I ended up not getting another... Uh, I ended up not farming. We, we haven't farmed for the that plastic yet. The vases and the bottles. Is that it? You get the Heesey Base bar bottles. And then the, uh, the plastic vase mimics. Uh, to get a different, like, the Box 2D Molten Plastic. Which is gonna crash the game and everything, I'm sure. So we're gonna back up the save before we mess with that at all. Um. Yeah, we were in the wrong spot. Um. Do you understand? Ah. Explaining infinite poly will become your version of Dunk's chainsaw wrapping. I bet. <laughs> I did it like three times or like it was like twice very shortly after one another yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Somebody asked and then like literally a minute ah, later somebody else asked. Which is fine, but I do have some commands that link to videos like if somebody asks for advice about noita like a new player i have my uh my guide that i made my new player's guide linked i think the command for that is like guide exclamation point guide probably i don't remember but there we go yes I should have maybe just checked the, well, the Holy Mountains. Because you can usually find, like, a decent wand with a lot of slots. But I decided to take the scenic route. 17 capacity, I guess that's okay. Well, we're probably going to want that double. <clears throat> so I can, whoops. Um, do you need to do something really crazy to speed this up a lot? Hmm, that's a big bleh. Big bleh. <laughs> yeah, this one's good. We need one wand for speedy spells to acid. We need another wand just for... We have the infinite platform stuff. Uh, Lim, do you think I should try turning the worms into sheep? I do have the feared by worms perk so they can't dig. And then... I don't know if I feel like... like uh, We could do... like Turn them into sheep. And then have an infinite wisp with venomous curse on it. Going around killing them all. 
And then leaving no bodies behind. And then maybe slime mist, a bunch of slime mists around. Are you That's all you have to do? Wait. Oh, it's a static projectile. Huh. So that that's all I have to do? Just that? Does that work? Hmm. Thought it was a utility. It's interesting. That's easy. That's really cool. Huh. Nice. So yeah. You want to just like kill things and leave no bodies behind? You just turn them into sheep with this on there. Interesting. I I barely even messed with um, the uh, petrification spell. Wonder. If... Yellow slime. All right. So <clears throat> I need another chainsaw. How many chainsaws do I have back at base? I don't know. I'm just going to look around in here a little bit while we're here. We might as well look for chainsaws, look for uh, reduced recharge, look for a teleport bolt, you know, because that would be nice again to have. I should have maybe just put a teleport bolt up here. Look at all that. Saving the tower once in the wand box in spell lab keeps the stats, but not the sprite. Yeah, the same thing happens. Well, I think maybe it's been fixed, but playing Noita together, a lot of it, it used to delete all the special wand uh, sprites. I don't know if it still does. Like if you threw the chain gun in the uh, bank, then uh, you'd lose it. You'd lose the sprite. It would just change to some other wand. <clears throat> Thank you. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Hey, Donkey Show, by the way. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> Solidifying the molten plastic with air or water should make them box 2D. Yeah. With air? Oof. Yeah, so I don't want... Well, okay. Then I guess it's a very bad idea to... To, like, collect any molten plastic at all, huh? Like, that type of molten plastic? Because then over time, it's just going to re-solidify, and then it might make the game very unstable. Petrify makes normal rocks. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't think it's, like, the same type of entity or whatever that you could, uh... I don't know, use Venomous Curse to despawn or something. But again, like, I just, I haven't experimented with it. Uh, 22 and 38, 820. Nah. 20 capacity, though. Might need these. All right.
2017, 2028. Okay. More chainsaws. Well, I guess we have... Chainsaw. Chainsaw's ready. Oh, hey, look at that. Gee, that's nice to get another one of those. Uh, like that. get where are those now nah, i want those uh loomies <laughs> where were they <laughs> they weren't up here right they were down further maybe quack quack oh hey oh hey the devastation. They were in this like chasm that I created, right? With no, maybe not. Damn it! I think they were right. The Lumis. There was like a bunch of them. They were like floating up in there someplace. <laughs> but I'm still not looking. I'm looking over here. All right. These I just looked at. Those I looked at too a little while ago. What's up, dude guy? Bro man. Yo. Yeah, so we are listening to his music right now, everyone. Exclamation point music in chat for a link to his band camp where you can acquire the amazingness as well. And, you know, also I've been telling people how you inspired me to start working on music again. Like, I've been wanting to for years and I just didn't. Didn't ever do it. Didn't give myself the time to do it. So now. Whoops. Goodbye. <laughs> we Okay. Ah. I feel like I'm... I don't know what is going on. There's something with my setup that's really bothering me. Like, it feels like... I don't know. I feel like I have no control. <laughs> like, I feel like my mouse and keyboard are in the wrong spots, and, like, I'm too close to the monitor. Maybe I just need glasses or something. I don't know. There's some... My brain is doing weird things lately. We need a chainsaw. Magic times five. Yeah, I know. That'd be nice. Maybe I should just do that. But I came to a parallel world without really any digging and stuff, so. Um. Do, 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 do. How you doing, dude guy, by the way? Hope you're doing very well. High tech. <laughs> Both you and Dude Guy helped me feel inspired to get back into making music again as well. Thanks, guys. Awesome, Wayfinder. Hell yeah. He has a fever and the cure is more Lumi. Actually, I want Chainsaw, but Lumi, whatever. 
Mm. All right, let's go. Let's get the hell out of this abyss of pain and suffering. Otherwise known as Florida. <laughs> uh. Oh, hey, my chat just disappeared. Oh, hey, we got chainsaws. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I should probably just get blood mag. I have plenty of HP. You could just use blood magic. That would be so much easier. Um. All right. Blood magic it is. Ow. Oh, yeah. Let me get that wand again that I put down there. Well, I have three black holes. Do I have any Greek letters? I do not. Not on me. Ugh. Dude. Okay, we have digging. <laughs> we we that we don't need this. Get this crap out of there. We're gonna dig with this. Come on, come get me. Digging upwards though is not exactly uh, an easy thing to do with this, huh? I hate you. <laughs> where's my where's the other uh, tunnel? Here it is. It's right here. <laughs> Well, now we're going to go to hell. Well, should I go to the... We'll go to the sky. But I feel like digging down to hell with this. You guys vote on it without voting. Just let me know in chat. What do you think I should do? I think I should dig to hell with a Omega Saw. Because of the... I don't know. How cool that would be. Or do you think that I should just go up to the boring old sky and try to look for blood magic? You need a use, uh, you need, well, a charge of the uh, black hole. I used all the charges. I don't really care that much, to be honest. Like, I do things on stream, like, because I don't care about them taking time. I don't care to be efficient, you know? Like, I don't care about a lot of things. <laughs> I just don't care. I just have fun playing, you know? So, like, I'm not trying to, like make a, a wand that could make me dig easy, you know? I'm not really trying to do that. I'm just, like, playing and having fun, but... <laughs> but yeah, you know, if you have charges on the black holes, then you could just use that, um, you know. Sure. I don't like coming up here for this reason, because it's like very disgusting up here. Very disgusting with frame rateage for whatever reason. And honestly, the way I am when I stream this game is like, I have my focus on something and I don't care about spending more time. Like I, like I, there's things I want to do. I don't want to take this off here. You know, just don't want to do it. You know, I'll, I'll take more time to do something because I don't want to like shift my focus and stuff by like ripping wands apart that I already have built. Even if it's just one spell a lot of the time. I'm a very weird person, and I like doing things the way I do them, and when I deviate from that, I, uh, sometimes bad things happen. And I, I used to, like, 
apologize for that or whatever, but I am very particular and I'm just don't want to apologize for being me anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to play this game however I want and like, you know, just just come along for the ride. If, but if you get impatient, I understand because I, I do things in a way that definitely probably tests people's patience. <laughs> Ugh. Um. Ooh, a divide by ten. Eh. I'm trying to save my money <laughs> for uh for blood magic, but also for uh another one more reroll. We gotta find the leggy mimic at one point Ugh. and bring the leggy mimic to the base or just someplace in general, make another base. Especially if I f ma make a parallel world base, if I find a leggy mimic. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna grab that. In a, par <clears throat> in a parallel world, maybe we'll build a base there, sorta, like a small one, just to be able to farm perks from it. Not that I really need more perks, but it's just something I want to do, you know? Like, I want to... I want to, uh... Just do everything I can do, I guess, in this run. Why not? And then we're gonna... I haven't done the chest drain, so I think I will, in this run, if I don't die, I'm gonna farm the chest drain, do infinite chest drain to get a, uh... What do you call it? A refresh mimic. But again, like, you know how, like, most people want to do stuff fast? <laughs> like, like, dunk. Like, it's like, we're going to do this in one stream. I'm not like that at all. I'm like, if it takes me a year to do something, I'm okay with that, you know? I'm okay with that. I'm okay, like, I enjoy just living life in this video game you know i'm not in a hurry to like get results or anything in anything like i like just just dedicating my soul to this you know <laughs> doesn't matter this is life i want to fast forward life we want to live it uh so like you know It'd be nice if the eyes in the cauldron were solved, like... It'd be nice if they were solved today. <laughs> but if it takes 10 years and then I'm like, Oh my god! Look at that! They've been solved, finally! I haven't played that game in 10 years! <laughs> no. I'm sure, you know... I'm sure I will be booting up the ye old Noita 10 years from now, every now and then. I'm sure. Woo! <laughs> I didn't mean to really go on a rant. It just happened, so... I don't want to be up here. I'm leaving. I don't want to be up here anymore. I don't like the frame rate. Yeah, like... You know, I just... That's how I am as a person. It's just like... I don't care if things take time. You know, I try not to be impatient about, like, anything. Uh... And if I... I've dedicated so much time already to, like, playing this game... That it's like... It's okay with me if it... If I have to dedicate more time, you know? I don't know. And then, uh... I'm just... It's like I'm, it's, I'm meditating right now. It's like a mutual meditation. <laughs> uh, just chilling. Just chilling. Hey, Sanguine. What's up, Gween? How you doing? Welcome. Here, you know what? Ugh, we just gotta get out of here. Hang on. Give me me a year until I'm out of here. 
All right. Ugh. Crispity crunchity. How you doing today? Go check out Gween. And Gween's been, been playing a lot of Elden Ring. Oh, well, Elden Ring. And she's a beast. She's a beast. She got this. <laughs> and then Dude Guy. Oops. Go check out Dude Guy Bromance channel if you if you're already if you're not aware you know you better educate yourself all right let's get out of this janky heaven let's go to hell hell's so much more interesting that's where all the cool people are <laughs> uh was that a circle of vigor i don't think it was i didn't see it Whatever. <laughs> I don't need one anyway. We already have one. I don't think it spawns up there. Was it? Let's not fall into a uh, portal. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Wait. Uh, where... Okay, it's a regular swamp. All right, here we go. There we go. Whoops. I threw out the uh, black hole. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. It's fine. <laughs> anyway. How you doing today, Gween? I love Elden Ring, too. I haven't played it in... too long. But when it came out, I played it for... I mainlined it for 800 hours. Building... I filled up all the save slots with different character builds. Played through it... I think there's 10 save slots, so 10 times. I didn't want to... I know you could respec but I didn't want to respec. One of my favorite things to do in any of the Souls games, Soulsborne games, is to make character builds. I get a lot out of that. So, like, I... <laughs> yeah, I, I really enjoy just, like, making different character builds. So... All right, we didn't need that. Um... Yeah, eight, around 800 hours into it, making builds for PvP and everything, and then just didn't end up actually PvPing that much. Because I, I did, and then I was like, man, PvP in this game sucks. <laughs> compared to compared to the Souls games, which I used to PvP in Dark Souls 1 and 2 a lot. Many, many hours. Uh... And then, you know, Elden Ring PvP is like, you, you gotta fight three people at once most of the time. And that could be fun, but people, it's like, it's like, I know that there are a lot of people who don't want you to fight them, who don't want to be invaded, and they're like, they hate that part of the game, and that's fair, you know. That's fair. But then there are a lot of people who do want to fight, uh... But they, they don't. They just gank you and stuff. And they're like, Hur. and it's all toxic and everything. And it's so much easier to be that way in Elden Ring. And, uh, and then also, like, the environments being so huge, it's so easy to just run away forever from somebody invading you. And it's just, uh, PvP, a lot of it's like you invade somebody and it's just chasing them for an hour. <laughs> like, come on, man. Alright. Ow. Anyway, so I spent all this time making PvP builds and enjoying that very much. And then just, like, not even really using them for PvP. Can you stop it, please? Uh. Alright. I never played Noita before, but I want to someday. I would highly recommend this game to everyone because it is like just one of the greatest games ever made 
Um, and in the same way that the Souls games require, and, and the Elden Ring requires, like, uh, knowledge. The more you know, the easier it becomes. This game is a lot deeper than that, though. There's just a lot more to learn in this game. And I was kind of having a debate short sh on the uh, Noita Discord for a bit. A uh, couple people were saying how they wish that the game had a tutorial teaching you how to use wands and stuff. And I don't, I, I would hate that. I don't think it should have one because um, this game is all about the search for knowledge, the quest for knowledge. It's, that's the theme. And it fits very well that it has no tutorialization at all. You know, it's all about you becoming part of the the community, our community in this game. We're all a bunch of, we're an order of alchemists. And over time, you know, we all did a crap ton of experimenting throughout the years. Well, those of us who like have been around like you're over over all that time we learn we through experimenting through playing the game and then we share that knowledge with each other and then that's part of it that's like part of this the theme of the game is you know it's kind of i would argue that it's this game is meant for for the community to you know more, more than a lot of other games it's really meant for the community to share knowledge amongst ourselves and Blah, blah, blah. So, like, the, you you can, though, you can totally play this game in a vacuum. And a lot of people don't have that patience to learn everything. And they don't need to. This game, games don't need to be for everyone. You know? I argue for that. Like, I, in, I like when games have uh, accessibility features. Sure. You know? Sure. But I don't think every video game needs to be for everyone. Video game, if we're going to argue that video games are art, you know, and they are, then you need art that challenges you. That's what art is all about. And not every piece of art needs to be for everyone, you know? So you don't want, this game doesn't need a tutorial. If you don't have the patience to learn, like, if you don't want to, if you don't think it's good game design to... Uh, go out there and interact with a community in order to learn then you don't you don't have to think it's good game design you know uh and if, if you don't have the patience to if you don't want to do that and you don't have the patience to slowly learn over time because you totally can like there are a lot of there are people who have not used the wiki i've never really used the wiki we helped make the wiki you know like um but if you don't have the patience for that, then you don't need the patience for that. Like, just don't play it. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to play this game. You don't have to enjoy it, you know? But there are people who really do, and, uh, you know? So, anyway, blah, blah, blah. That's another rant for you. <laughs> Yeehaw. Um, let's see. <laughs> kind of just, like... <sighs> blindly ranted just like shut off my eyes i'm surprised i saw this it's shaped like an eye <laughs> maybe we'll get one more of those if i can find it let me see how this works right now uh so shove that on there real quick that should be good yeah, that'll be just fine. <laughs> We're going to produce so much acid, though. So maybe we don't want all of these on there. Probably. We probably don't. Because uh, we want to not flood ourselves with acid because that's going to open the chest. What we're, we're working on putting together a series of wands that will help us to uh, farm the end of everything. This to get great treasure chests to get random oh well i don't have liquid vacuum field if you see one please we don't powder vacuum field either i don't think i've seen that at all uh i think they can both spawn in here right 
I'm pretty sure I've seen vacuum spells in here, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just making that up. Excuse me. <clears throat> I feel like in games with PvP, there's a lot of people who want to win, not so much fight. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I, I don't get that, though. Like, you know, all the people who cheat in, like, Battlefield or whatever, Call of Duty and... <laughs> the FPS games or whatever. People who cheat, and it's just like, you just want that win. But do you really get anything from that? Winning without any effort or winning, yeah, like, without effort? Do you... I guess, I guess people get something from that, but I wouldn't, you know? But again, I'm, we're all individuals. We all get something from different things, so whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Neither can spawn in hell. Yeah, I haven't, I don't think I've seen in either one of those, which is unfortunate for this run, you know? It would be very nice to have those. <laughs> <laughs> Man, in a in a run focused entirely on the materials in the game and being able to uh like interact with the materials, having spells that do that would be great. Man. Anyway. I wouldn't mind an out of game resource explaining the UI and in-game terms. Um, I mean, we have the wiki, but you're saying, like, something even more, uh, like, uh, like maybe an app that, like, kind of, like a tutorial app. That might be cool. Anyway, I'll be right back. We got two of those. That should be good enough. I'm gonna, well, we'll, well let me do it right now. Um, here, let's just try, well... Here, let me... So this, and this. This will speed it up a little bit. Okay, so it's definitely not fast enough right now. Uh, oh, because I didn't wrap at all. Hang on. It's just... Okay, that'll work. I just need a double. All right. And the rest of the stuff, I don't know. I might uh, shove it on there for now. Oops. Maybe I don't need the loomies, but I'll keep another chainsaw and all these multicasts. This would be helpful. Um, okay, those are just loomies. If any of you notice while I'm playing streamer blindness, uh, if you notice a water drop spell, just like the round water spell. If you notice that, or a... I did get this, by the way. Uh, unfortunately, it was... I think I have it recorded, but uh, I did it last night while I was uh, collecting swamp and stuff. Um, that would be nice to have. Yeah, if you notice this, I want one of those... Or if you notice any of the vacuum spells, where are they? Yeah, like powder vacuum or liquid vacuum. I really would like those as well. And if I don't see them, if you're around on stream and you see those, shout it out. I gotta pause. Uh, quick bathroom break. <laughs> Man. Or, or. All right, whatever. Just pushing buttons. All right. Thank you. 
Okay. Do, do, do. Something official, Zaximus. Like an official external tool. All right. So I just washed my hands, but I didn't dry them. That's what shorts are for. <laughs> uh... Some FPS community have up to 60% of the player base using aimbot, and that's depressing. Yeah, I used to play a lot of FPS games. I used to uh, run a clan in Quake, Quake Live, and uh, maybe I'll get that too. I'm spending all my money. Stop it. Let's get out of here. I don't need to be here anymore. Um... And then Battlefield 4 was a game that I, like, really, really mainlined for a long time. I love Battlefield 4. Ow. But I don't really play FPS stuff anymore. Although I think I might be playing Tribes when it comes out. Tribes 3. I have the, uh, the playtest still installed. Jump in from time to time. I suck. I definitely am not used to playing, like, very fast-paced FPS stuff. That's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe we could just... Uh... Did I put a crystal at base? Let me not do that. That would not be good. I did not. Okay, there's no crystal, so we have to actually uh, travel back slowly. <laughs> That's great. Uh... Here. I saw something. Where is it? We got this one, too. All right, now. Three eyes, see? Makes sense. Somebody asked me in YouTube comments once, like, uh, not too long ago, like, how, why is it three, why are the eyes red in trigrams? Like, three eyes does not make sense at all in the game, like, two eyes. I'm like, have you played Noita? <laughs> I'm like, the, it's three eyes is a very prominent theme in the game. Not only the boss named three eyes, but uh, the three, whoa, 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 the three developers who are three gods and uh, et cetera. Okay. Let's see. Yes. I am in another world. Okay. I think we're in the main world now. Just said the work and not east work or whatever. Or west work. We're, we were in, wait a minute. Was I in Westworld just now? I don't remember. I think maybe. Okay. Reflex 69 Krabby Cheer. Yo, thank you, Zaxmas. Welcome back. Y E S. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah, there's there's many, many, yeah, many references to three eyes in this game. And when I replied to that comment, I like told them of some of these. Like, are you, are you crazy? Are you crazy? There's a lot of three eyes. Not to mention just like the the real world theme of like, come on, come on man, get that back. <laughs> the real world like third eye representing knowledge, the inner eye, you know, and all that. Anyway. Alchemy guide, like it's a list of reactions. Ooh. Yeah, so Lim, are you, you're working on one, the guide? I will reference, depending on how, like, when you get it finished or whatever. I'm not making this video, like, yet, because there's still a lot of stuff I want to maybe learn in this run, you know? If we could find anything new. Uh, but when I make the video on it, if your guide is finished enough that, like, people can look at it at all, or just, like, I don't know, give me any info and then I'll put that, link it in the video or something. You making a mod or you doing like an external website or something? Uh, 
Oh, whoops. Okay, let me read through some of this. It's a stretch to be compassionate. Man. Sometimes I read chat too slowly and then I'm like, what were you talking about? Like, what does that apply to? <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so we're in the main world. Oh, look, the statue. All right. So I don't need that anymore. All right. Let's see. I don't think I would have got anywhere near the hours of Noita if the wiki existed at the time. I'd rather have more hours than less. Yeah. I mean, I... I don't... I don't think I've ever really used the wiki other than... Whoops. Well, that doesn't show anything. That's just... I was checking to make sure this person actually existed because she emailed me about the... I don't think I'm doxing myself, right? Okay. She, uh messaged me to uh, sponsor me or something. And uh, that's what you got to do. That's step one, you know, get an email for like, hey, we would like to sponsor you to make a, uh, to incorporate. Now, this is the first time, like, they want me to make an ad for a game just in another video. I'm like, hell yeah, I will do that. I would rather do that than make an entire video of another game. Because uh, they always do really bad. Anyway, so yeah, I always have to look up the person to make sure that they exist and they work where they say they're working. Famesters. Anyway. Especially after the last time, uh, I got, I fell for the same scam that Linus Tech Tips fell for. And I had to go through all of my, uh, Shamalama Ding Dong. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I did. Um... <laughs> I had to go through all of my accounts, log out of every active token, you know? They stole my tokens. So I had to, like, log out of everything, every session, everywhere, and change every password. Oh, man. I use a different password, of course, for, like, literally everything. So that took a while, but did it, and everything's good now. But yeah, at least... I immediately, as as soon as I knew, like, oh, God, I got, I got, got, I disconnected from the internet and fixed, scanned, and did everything I could do locally before reconnecting to the internet, and then, yeah. Um, but right now I'm using the wiki, is what I mean, like, what I was, why I opened this was, like, just to look at all the materials, like, okay, what can I get, you know? But as far as, like, learning the game as uh, secrets and everything like blind baby blind or just community based I enjoy obviously I do this like I enjoy working with community so like when animal well comes out that's why I'm gonna be like streaming it and like hopefully working together with people in chat to solve things um Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be looking for a vacuum field, powder vacuum field right now, or liquid vacuum field. They can spawn on wands though, right? The vacuum fields. Maybe. I, I want to hurry up and go and do this. Let me... Let me... Uh... Let me just summon, like, a couple end of everythings not very efficiently. See if we got lucky and get anything I don't already have material-wise, you know? And then, uh... Ow. And then we could work on making a more efficient uh, farm type of thing. All right. So... Let me make sure I don't... Do that. I'm just going to keep all that on there. It's fine. <laughs> Beautiful.
and then I don't need this anymore. I'm going to throw those out, whatever, and that. This wand, two per cast. We might want to speed that up, though. A little bit. Um... <clears throat> Mena. So, what if I do this? Is this... That one's still pretty good. And then this. Okay. So now we got... Uh, we could spam slime mist around. Alright. They don't have to be the most perfect wand builds. Just as long as they work, you know? Um, <clears throat> then we got this one now. Which I am not using at the moment. Uh, which I guess I will... Oh, yeah, we got to do something with this. I'm just scared. I don't want to poly myself <laughs> and then kill myself. God, that would be the worst, obviously. Jeez. I also need to get some water. I don't have anything to drink. Uh... It's mathematically impossible to read the eyes in any other way and get the same ones. It's just they lack the knowledge about how they are made. Yeah, I know. Like, a lot of people just don't get it and stuff. I try to tell them, but I don't understand completely because I'm not a mathematics person or... You know, I've... You know, like, the difference between, like, a hacker and, like, a script kitty or whatever? I'm like a script kitty when it comes to, um, cryptography, I guess. Maybe a little bit better than that, like, because I've used, I've, I've learned about cryptography a little bit because I've messed with it in my own puzzly stuff that I've done. And, uh, but I don't, I'm not very well versed in it. So maybe not quite script kitty, but basically, you know, training, training wheels, cryptography. Um, but I have... I've used and kind of studied a little bit, like, most really popular, uh, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, types of cryptography, um, and stegnography and stuff like that, like audio, audio stegnography and different stegnography. It, it, that's, I'm more versed in that type of thing, you know, uh... All right, let's go back to base. I should have maybe kept that teleport bolt until I get back to base, but whatever. We're just gonna slowly and shamefully levitate back to my base. <laughs> nah, it's not shameful at all. We're just, we're patient. We're a patient Noita. We're about to change the world. We got this music playing. And we're just filled with purpose. All right. Hello, I'm home. <laughs> Hello, honey. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so this gets thrown here. Uh, where's my other wand? So put them there, okay. Let's grab this for a moment. All right, so this is my, that wand, all right. Hang on. That's right. Uh, I want to put these in order. We got our attack wand. We got our teleport wand. We got, I did have, I forgot that I had this on me, but I don't, whatever. 
We got the black hole wand, and then we got the parallel world travel wand and backpack wand. All right, we don't need any of that stuff. So now we have infinite, infinite platforms up there. We got speedy slime mist. We got speedy spells to acid to get rid of the nuke spam. <clears throat> uh, let me put the lime in the coconut. Uh, put that there. All right. Let's see, do I need any of this other stuff? How how do you make infinite slime mists? I guess I should look that up too. Uh, so I'm wondering if I have enough lifetime increasing stuff not used on anything else in order to make some infinite slime mists. All right. And then this, we just spam to get rid of the worms. So we got summon platforms to make like a, a cocoon, pretty much, to catch the chest and for us to, to hang out in. We got slime mists that we're going to fill in there. But we're, we're no, because these are going to turn into acid, right? I'm going to be spamming spells to acid. So I guess we're not going to use this wand, probably. Because as soon as I make... I just got to think this out before we actually do it, you know? Just in case. I don't want to, like, somehow end up killing myself. Uh, which can happen. It's happened to other people. Uh, yeah, as soon as I do this... Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh... So this doesn't, these don't turn into acid. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. All right, let's do this a little bit. Whoops. Oh yeah, I don't have any teleports. Yeah, let's uh, make this into a teleport wand as well. Sorry, I've been like so focused on the game, which is good, but I've like missed so much of what's being talked about in chat. Some vacuum fields don't appear on summon Tekasova. All right. Very rarely as an always cast. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's just grab. This real quick. Um... All right, we're just going to grab that off there for now. Grab the other one. All right. And I'm just like worker bee, worker ant, looking around, making sure everything's okay. And in a way, you know, like admiring my beehive that I made. My nest. Because a lot of time has gone into doing this. It's like... I want it to look better, the, the perfectionist to me. The person who spent, you know, whatever, over 10,000 hours building in Terraria. That person is like, man, I can make this look so much better. But then I'm still like, I, get, I got a lot of like pride, a lot of uh, satisfaction out of making this. Long time, Nison. All right, they're in there. I hope they're safe in there. I hope they don't turn into Scotties. Scotty dogs. All right. The fish are suicidal. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. I can't use this to make a waypoint back at the base because we're going to be spamming spells to acid. And if I did that, then we teleport back to the base in the middle of 
you know, that would be a nightmare. Cast the end of everything and then forget, like, let me make sure there's not one here. Actually, I'm going to we'll back up the save real quick, too. I haven't shut down in a bit. Yeah, imagine that, though, like casting this here and then forgetting about that and then going to a parallel world to do what we're about to do, cast the end of everything. And then when the uh, the nukes start spawning, we spam this and immediately teleport back to base and then destroy the entire base. <laughs> oh man, that would be, that would be so amazing. All right, ugh, cloud. Uh, oh yeah, I don't have a wand refresh on me, whatever. I'm not even gonna bother teleporting. We are, we're already here in a parallel, it's fine. No problem. And I guess, where am I? Just for old time's sake again. Did I just, did I load in a biome? Anyone know if like the biome message just popped up? We're in gold room, I think. I just want to go to the eyes. Might as well, I'm taking my time, so. Might as well take a little bit more. All right, no, this is not open. And I do have infinite poly immunity. I'm scared. Like, I'm afraid of somehow killing myself doing this. Because we're going to be spamming this to get rid of the worms. And if I, if this somehow doesn't work, I turn myself into a sheep and then probably going to die. <laughs> I think... Uh... I think I want to be really careful. So this run has been nice and uh, probably at least three months I've been working on it. Not every single day. Not, we'll test it. We'll test it. I, have, I didn't test it yet, though. I just want to back up the save first after I get up here slowly. I could just teleport. All right. So wait, this is the Hills 2 biome, right? Yeah. I just enjoy, you know, we're playing. I consider all of this like I'm playing the game. Like, you know, where I'm, I made videos about getting the chain gun early and stuff. And I've ranted about this before. But some people uh, who who don't have the patience for anything like that, and that's fine. You know, I'm not talking to shit. Like, people are allowed to, like, think that that's a waste of time. Um, but I don't... I consider all of this like I'm playing. I'm not... We're in the wrong spot. So let me just... Let's just do this. Um, oh, wait. Did I even go... I didn't even go to East World. Right? Sorry, I'm just like... I don't think I even went to East World yet. We just use no. I, I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> God. Ugh. So. I don't consider it like okay. Spend an hour. Spend a half hour doing some stuff on the surface before starting the run. As soon as I press new game I've started a run it doesn't matter what I do I can walk across the surface and just smell the roses or whatever I'm still playing the game that's still a run you know that's how I try to look at any game but especially roguelites and uh, roguelikes it's like this is we're doing a run right now it's not like we're preparing to do a run, no. Like, getting the chain gun from the beginning of a run, that's part of the run, you know? And that's that's a lot of people will, like, talk, talk smack about doing something like that. People who maybe haven't played Noita that much and don't realize that a lot of this game is downtime, a lot of this game is an open-world 
survival roguelite or roguelike where it's not just going down an action going down to the through the biomes and stuff like this is a lot of the game is like moving around like i'm more okay with moving slowly like this like a lot of people will just like teleport rapid speed everywhere they want to play as fast as possible i'm not like that you know like i don't care about this you know taking time but But yeah, it's still so part of the run. I, we got to get away from these guys. I don't have anything to kill them with, I think. I guess I could turn them to sheep, huh? Did these... Wait. Let me not do it here. <laughs> Just in case. Um, They don't count as bosses. So did they get uh, polyed from this spell? That's something we should test at some point. I'm pretty sure they do. Or they will. What's up, Freshtopia? How you doing? And you get one of these two. Go check out Freshtopia over on his channel. He's got really good vibes. Real nice guy, real chill. Good conversations. When I was working on this run off camera, like off stream, or like off stream, but I recorded footage of it, you know? Uh, doing some boring stuff like collecting individual pixels of plastic one at a time for the for an hour. When I was doing that, I was hanging out in his chat and uh, talking about creating things and s other stuff. Nice vibes. Um, all right. How you doing today? Are you at work or I guess it is it's 4 p.m. here, 4 16 p.m. Um Alright, should I do this right here? Within view of these three eyes and Rubido? I want to, but we have some jackass going on up there. Uh let's see. Do I have anything to kill him with? I guess we have ping pong chainsaw. I should have maybe brought something else with me to kill things with. Where is this? Where are you? You. Yes, I'm glad it's you. Get back here. I'm going to kill you. It might take a little while, but you're going to die. <laughs> there you go. Ha ha. Ho ho ho. All right. Now. Okay, we got that. This, let me just, uh, without the Venomous Curse on it. All right, beautiful. So I don't get turned into a sheep. That's great. I gotta, we're gonna shut down real quick and back up just in case I crash the game. Not in case I die. Which I better not die. Alright. Let's see. Venomous Curse is on there. Are they... Nah, I don't think Venomous Curse works with this. That would be amazing if it did, though. Alright. So, we would... If I'm going to use Venomous Curse to get rid of sheep bodies... Uh, then... We need another delivery system, like some kind of projectile to like hit sheep with, but I'm not going to bother with that. We're just going to shut down right now. I may not even use this to be safe, to be as absolutely safe as I can. We might just like do this up here someplace and then have the worms just fall down. Hopefully. Big chillin' took two days off because wasn't feeling it this week, and I'm bad at using PTO, so now I have some extra game time. Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, schmack. Enjoy your time off. What am I doing? We're doing this. Oh. 
What's the wand doing? Which one? Need to get this controller so I can get back to Eldritchvania because keyboard was not doing it for me. Yeah, I mean, how was, like maybe the hotkeys, like maybe you just have to like bind the hotkeys differently, but also I'm somebody who, I, I try not, I try to be like open-minded about control schemes and like, I'm not somebody who plays every game with a keyboard and mouse. Like there are people who are like, why are you using a controller? Like, you know, every game is better with a keyboard and mouse. And I don't agree with that. Like I use different things, different control methods for different games. Um, but, you know, the thing is with Eldritchvania also, unfortunately, you can't use a D-pad. I like to use... Um, no? What? I like to use uh, D-pad for 2D platformers. Instead, like, I don't like using analog stick to move around, but Eldritchvania, you have to use analog unless they update it. Hmm. And so moving around in the menus is... Playing the game with an analog stick was fine. I didn't really ever have too much of a problem using this controller, the Xbox controller, which is old and feels like sensitive in spots like i i swear like some of the buttons like i was jumping sometimes when i didn't press the jump button or maybe like grazed it but it was like maybe it's dirty or something in there and it's just like very sensitive i don't know kind of like me I'm very dirty inside and super sensitive <laughs> um anyway whatever uh i was just updating games let me make sure there's nothing else it was a bunch of crap. Whatever. Um, let's move to Journey of a Nomad now. Play. All right. Hurry up. But the only problem I had was in the menus using the analog stick. It was very sensitive and I would like turn to another page by accident when I was trying to just uh, select an item or something in the inventory. So maybe like, I don't know, I didn't even try switching to keyboard for just menuing, but maybe using keyboard for the menu would be easiest. But anyway, great game. If you guys, anyone else doesn't know about Eldritchvania, it's a free, absolutely free La Mulana like, which is a very, very rare type of game. Um, La Mulana. Where's, where is it? I have it. Oh. Of course, you pop up like right then. <laughs> we played it. We I beat it in 20. We 100 percented it in 21 hours, completely free. La Mulana. So if you like retro style platformers, but with a lot of a lot of riddles and puzzles and secrets, it's it's amazing. I recorded a bunch of footage for it. I'm going to be making a video for the main channel. And uh, yeah, it's like one of the best games I've played in a long time. I'll be right back. I need to grab water or something.
let's... There's no... Yeah. I always have to check. Somehow, a mod's miraculously gonna be activated without me clicking a button. <laughs> I don't know. Better safe than sorry. Because obviously, like, doing what I'm doing, yeah, we're, we're mainly, like, going to be testing materials for uh, new interactions or uh, reactions, but part of this is also, like, possibly experimenting with the, uh, the cauldron and the eyes, possibly. I don't know, whatever. Maybe. Since this seed, we do have all the eyes, like, together in one spot, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh no. I don't have a Whoops. Okay. So, I don't have a wand refresh either. God damn it. <laughs> I forgot to uh bring a Greek letter spell. Oh man. All right. Time to go up to the sky and find one. Rip. Right. Yeah, because we got to farm the end of everything and we only have one use of it. Whoops. Yeah. Don't forget the Greek letter. So dumb. Ah. Uh. I hate the sky, though. I hate it up here, man. I mean, it's cool, but it's like... If you if you don't have gas fire or whatever, it's like... Probably the, uh... I don't know. Well, I mean... I dropped all my stuff back in the main world, you know? All my digging and, and all that, pretty much, but... Alright. We just need any... Um, no, I don't want that one. We want... I said any, but I mean, I meant like gamma or alpha. <laughs> Which shouldn't be that hard to find, right? We got omegas all over the place. Just... Bruh. What the hell? Spell duplication. Another spell duplication. Seriously, man? Come on, RNG. Moo. Ugh. Do I have what? Uh, meh. Anyway, all right. So, I'm okay. We got an alpha. That'll work. All right. Up, up, and away. Now we can just fall back down, or I could do it up here. But let's get away from enemies. I don't want to have all these things around anyway. Would I prefer a gamma? No, we could just put this here with, like, that next to it, and then... Just shift-click that off. Okay. Or maybe... Where did the... Hang on, we'll use this. All right. Good. And then we don't... Wait, what did I do? Oh, yeah, we have an extra wand now because I'm not using this, I think. All right, well, we can just do this then. Oh, 
Wait, no. How did I mess this up? Oops. Okay. That'll work. That'll work just fine. I don't know how much I'm going to do this. I'm getting tired. Like I like I say, like working on this run for too long oh, makes me like it's it's something I got to work on in shorter doses or like take a break and do something else and then come back to it. It is only 4.30 p.m. and I'm going to be streaming for like another couple hours. So we got time. I just got to get away from the, all this cloud. <laughs> Come on. Let me out of here. <sighs> Can I, like, get across, please? Thank you. The sky looks a lot better now, though. More ambient. I tend to main keyboard and mouse, but I think if I'm going to play La Milana, I might as well... Pull the trigger. I think, yeah, like, I'm pretty sure. Never mind. I was going to say, like, La Mulana might require a controller, but I don't think it does. And then I see tried playing Rain World with keyboard. No way. I, I've i heard controller. I mean, there are things. There's movement tech you can do in Rain World with a keyboard that you can't do with a controller. But there is like a couple thing or like at least one thing you can do with a controller that's easier with controller than it is keyboard. Uh, but yeah, I played Rain World with controller as well. I've been meaning to give it a go with with the uh, keyboard um, because I, I am really into I was thinking about speedrunning it, but you have to be really, really good at the movement. There's some very, very difficult to perform movement tech. All right. Let's go. Let's just go up here. We got to cast end of everything up here. Because it deletes the ground. Okay, then we could try to do a little bit of this. Whoops. Oh, you know what? I should have. We're going to get... I'm stuck. Yeah, all that acid. Come on, get me out of here. <laughs> Alright. I was gonna... This is not going too well, is it? I just cast it again. Uh, okay. I'm not worried about dying. I'm worried about... Just wasting my time not getting the chest. Hang on. It's just too much for me right now. Ah. <laughs> uh. I need to figure out the wands first. Like, have them in the right slots. Get the, um... I'm throwing a fit right now. Silently. In in internal... Uh... Conniption fit. Getting stuck in the platforms and then not being able to move out. I gotta like, oh, I gotta do this. <laughs> Let me do that. Yeah. And then all the acid everywhere. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> Goodbye. It was just snow anyway. I can't do anything else besides this right now. Too, like, uh, clumsy and kind of like, I can't think of the word right now. Oh, hey, look at that. That one contained a wand. All right. Are the gods enraged? Yeah. 
I'm enraged. All right, we're going to move end of everything to the bottom slot. We got this. Uh, I should have got a wand refresh while I was up there. I love that audio. It's so cool. All right. I'm, I think I'm not able to do it right now. I'm too, like... I feel very uh, clumsy, but the other word for it, like, just, like, uncoordinated. I feel very uncoordinated right now. But... <clears throat> we play very different games. <laughs> what? Yeah. You don't have disable mod restrictions mod? Me? I won't use any mods. Because I... First of all, disable mod restrictions, I don't think it even works yet for a beta. Or it didn't for a long time. But I won't use a mod to disable the mod refresh, or the mod uh, thing, because the developers are very smart. And uh, I'm not convinced that there's just one mod check in the code. That it's just like, oh, you could just use a mod to disable the mod check and then you're safe. Like, I don't believe in that. And it's also, I'm a purist. I don't want to use any mods at all. You know? I won't do that. <laughs> I'll use the disable mod. Uh, what is it called? Restrictions mod in a big modded run using a bunch of other mods like Apotheosis and everything in order to just get the eyes and cauldron to appear. Well, the eyes anyway. Um, but for anything like this, no mods at all. Like not even a hint of any any mod. No, the only, and like if I could, if I could do this without any save editing, I would. Like if I didn't have to if we had extra slots in the game, save slots, I wouldn't even back up the save. I would just have, I would save it on multiple slots just so I can internally back it up, you know? I hate having to back up a save or whatever, but I have to. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't even do that if I didn't have to. Anyway. Um... We didn't miss anything. So once again, we're doing this for materials. This is so annoying. I need another long distance cast. <laughs> <laughs> Getting stuck on my platforms. Ugh. Bruh. East one, I think, right? Pretty sure. I'm gonna go down to the Mi Realm real quick. See if there's uh, utility boxes down there that might have long distance cast. Kind of annoying. <laughs> I did get pretty damn annoyed right now. Uh, there might be just a long distance cast sitting around in here. Ow. Ow. Hmm. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I have a... Hmm. Hmm. I just do that. I was like, uh-oh. Let me actually keep that on there for now. Just in case. Worm. I think maybe I already opened any utility boxes that might be in here. <clears throat> Mods are stealing the jobs of skilled alchemists. <laughs> That's right. Damn right. Yeah, somebody also was wondering, like, or like, can't you just, like, cheat everything in with cheat GUI? And you can. But, you know, I used to use, uh, when I first started trying to solve the cauldron, when I was first trying to solve it, two years ago, or when, however long ago it's been, uh, it, uh, I used to use this mod all the time. Instead of Cheat GUI, I used Everfades. And, uh, I cheated in every material with this mod and put every material in the cauldron only to learn later that the way that this mod works, uh, it doesn't add them in correctly, so they don't have any tags. None of the materials, if you use this mod, have tags, so you can't fungal shift with them, and they don't work for any kind of secrets or anything. So then I had to, I did it again with Chikui. But then we never can, you never know if there's something else in the code that makes it so that if you spawn something in like that, uh, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like if I'm doing something that, if there's secrets in this game that require you not to use mods, then I'm not using mods no matter what. Not even one that disables the mod check. Alright, anyway. Been doing a lot of rants today. <laughs> a lot of wasting time. A lot of derping around. Alright, screw it. Whatever. I gotta get out of here. Alias is playing Noita. Whoops. Sorry, gods. <laughs> Alright, so we just have to cast it once. Now, we're going to take this off. We're going to pop this stuff on. Whoops. Pop that stuff on there. Alright. Beautiful. And then, we got that. Bunch of crap down here. <laughs> I love to just throw whatever. Yeah, let's just throw all these uh, multicasts on there. Who cares? Whoops. <clears throat> I know a lot of people who have let mods ruin this game for them. Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love mods. I just, there's a time and place. And like, I like doing specific modded runs and keeping most of my time playing this game completely vanilla, like preserve that. Uh, Cause my, my philosophy with mod modding games is, let me just, I'm stalling some more. <laughs> I'm sorry. My philosophy with modding games is that usually I want to I wanna master the vanilla game first. I want to know everything I can possibly know about vanilla. And then I'll start using mods if it's a game I want to play more than just once or whatever. But this game has unlimited depth, you know? So it's like I'm never going to learn everything there is to learn about this game. I don't think any of us are. There's just so much... So many new things. There's like a combination of systems that have a lot of depth, a lot of procedural depth, a lot of emergent depth, and then also jank that just so happens to add a lot more depth. You know, like the spellcrafting system. There's a lot of jank unintended stuff that adds just so much amazing possibility. Anyway, 
So that's why I don't really use mods with Noita, but I will... I will do modded runs. I am going to be doing an Armageddon Machine playthrough soon because I never did get around to doing that. All right. <laughs> I'm just so used to, whatever, having different wand builds up here from like, uh, however many hundreds of hours this run has been so far. Maybe like, I think it's probably been at least 100. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, drink the acid. Guess the acid doesn't really matter. This, we need more lifetime on these if I'm going to use the slime mist. But I feel more comfortable now about like where the wands are in my inventory. We're not going to worry about the worms. In fact, we might make a little bit of juice. Look at that, we got poly mist. I did only cast one. Man, we're getting just wands. God damn it. This is... Alright. Um... My attention is struggling right now. So, like... This is something I want to do when I'm like, can, can focus very well. Not that I'm, well, there is a chance that I can kill myself doing it just like Tissimo did by like accidentally picking up a poop stone that comes out of a great treasure chest and then like losing all of my poly immunity and then dying. Um, I don't want that to happen, <laughs> but also like, I don't know, I think I don't know if I can keep playing this run right now because I'm like struggling at the moment with playing, I guess, with like being able to like, okay, I feel like I need to practice like just using these wands and it's kind of annoying, like not being able to teleport. Let me see if I could just get rid of this acid. Whatever, we're just making more acid. Whatever. I'm not able to, like, very carefully do this right now is what I'm trying to say, I guess. Like, so I'm not going to try to cast more than one at a time at the moment because I'm just tired from working on this. My, my eyes are starting to blur. My brain's starting to kind of have the brain rot settling in. Or, or. That's right. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. I broke it. Salt. Okay, we got two salt potions at least. Collapsed concrete. Oh no, that's from that. What was this? Gunpowder. I broke the chest with this wand, uh, with a chainsaw, I think. Well, thank you. <laughs> Ugh. Am I gonna play Dragon's Dogma 2? I don't think it's out yet, I think, ow. I think it's, what, uh, oh, that's from a worm. Wait, the worms from End of Everything can drop hearts? I think it comes out next week or soon. I don't remember when it comes out. I want to play it. We got to squeeze that into the schedule now. Like, I've been wanting to play a long, like, settle into a long RPG. 
So I guess maybe that'll be that. Let me take that off. Oops. Uh, I'm just going to go back to the base right now. Um, crap. Did I... I shut the game down and backed up, like, out here. So that means that all my molten metals right now are burning away to nothingness. Were you inside a cloud? That was my own, a cloud of my own creation. Poopstone, instant deathium. Oh my God, you're right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we could totally die to instant deathium. Monstrous powder, creepy liquid. I didn't even think about that limb, thank you. So I definitely want to be really, really well, like, awake. I want to do this at the beginning of a stream where I'm, like, fully aware, fully alert. Because if, like, I'm not ready at all, like, if we'd have to do this quick. If instant deathium broke on me, yeah, I have, like, two extra lives, maybe, and saving grace. But we could very easily just die from that. Uh, I'd have to, like, quickly, like... You know, right, like I said, I'm feeling like really clumsy. I'd have to be able to like have that atten or not attention span, but have that uh, reaction speed to like, oh, quickly do this in the middle of dying to instant ethium and then heal myself. And right now, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, at least we got everything ready. And I got salt. I'm going to make some brine. Finally. Make sure I have a bunch of brine. It's very exciting. Salt is rare, guys. It's pretty damn rare. At least we got something. We got salt. I do have salt already there, but we got more. Uh, Alright. I got to move fast as soon as we get here. We, I might not have any more Molten Metals. That sucks. I forgot about that. Because I, I shut the game down. And then... Uh, as soon as I shut the game down, the Molten Metals reignite. And because Colmy is over there, they stay loaded in memory. Uh, which means that... Yeah. Where's my wand? Give me my wand. Hurry up. Oh, wait. I have it on here. Let's just cast. I don't care. Whatever. I'll wait until these despawn. All right. Not that bad, actually. All right. And then... Let me grab my attack wand just in case... The hammies were too close, and they became Steve's, Stavari's. <sighs> this is, like, for some of you, it, it might not, for watching, I'm sure it's fine, but like, okay, they're good. Nice. Hell yes, you're my prisoners forever. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is because uh, I've worked on this for so long and there's so much more that I want to do so dying would be devastating of course it always is in this game but more than just that like destroying the base by accident is also like would destroy my break my heart you know uh, so it is stressful this is a stressful run to work on so, I, I can only do it in, like, short doses, I think, you know? Depending on what I'm working on. Like, doing this, like, doing something that could kill me, spamming the end of everything. I want to get to the point soon, maybe next session or whatever, where I can spam, maybe, like, cast ten at once. Maybe. Or, like, a few at once. 
or just do it faster to be able to set something up efficiently and be able to uh, farm great treasure chests faster. But right now is not the time. Right now, I could very easily like derp and like teleport back to base by accident and then destroy the entire base. So, or just die. So, don't want that happening. Um, all right. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna drop these wands here. Let me uh Let's not ever cast that by accident right here. <laughs> Just dropping all this crap right here. Oh wait, I need this. Right. I'll probably make these wands better too. So that I can teleport without uh just so i can do everything that i need to do to be able to move be able to teleport get another long distance cast which i have another one someplace and put that on my platform one so that i don't get stuck in the platforms and i have to teleport out of them you know we'll we'll fine tune these ones we have the basic down basic uh function down Next time, I'll just, like, quickly, like, perfect them, and then, yeah. All right. I just, right now, we're gonna prepare for... Okay. Let me get, uh... I'm just gonna get flasks of water. We might as well just do that. I'll make a little lake down here. All right. I'm just a million times checking everything. <laughs> Jeez. These things, Lim. I don't. You're here, right? Uh, I think what causes they move. They do move, and I think maybe what causes the flasks to move and then break is moss, the moss spawning. So moss doesn't spawn if you have a liquid on the surface. I noticed that while farming for plastic from the shotgunner enemies. I had like a flat EDR like near the lava lake in a parallel world, so there was no lava lake. It's just flat there. I had a, a shotgunner there, and I had the whole area was covered in blood, and no moss spawned. So, I think keeping moss from spawning underneath a place where you're keeping break like really really sensitive materials in flasks. I want to try to like, you know, because it's like this one is kind of floating a little bit, and it might be because like stuff is like little moss pixels are spawning, and then moving the flasks around. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. I think it only spawns on the, like, rock. Probably all kinds of rock. We might be able to find that in the uh, materials XML, right? Maybe? It's not a reaction. Well, maybe it is. It's like rock and air. Just like soil and air produces grass. Maybe like rock and air produces moss. All right. Um, let's go down here. Make sure that's set up. We're going to be switching to some, some more like upbeat Noita stuff in a minute here. Probably. Some, uh, where's the spot that I have? I just feel like I'm checking my wands constantly to make sure that I don't have like black holes are going to fire everywhere or... I don't have the Lumis on my teleport wand, which I don't, I guess, what happened to though? I had them up here and I threw them out, I think. Oh, well. So now I need more Lumis again to speed up the teleport wand. <laughs> or I guess I could just use blood magics on them. Whatever. All right. Sorry, I'm just like, ugh. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, I want to go in here. 
Mud. Get some mud. Put a water trail on this. That should be just fine. But yeah, I didn't even think of instant deathium. That would have, if I was just a little while ago casting end of everything, uh, if that great chest had broken and instant deathium had come out and stained me, I would have panicked and I may have like died because that's how I'm feeling right now. Like a little panicky from like working on this and being stressed, you know? It's just, it does wear on your nerves, or my nerves, working on this. Just because it's, like, again, this is Noita. It's so easy to just destroy everything in Noita that it's, like, mm, got to be real careful, like, constantly. Anyway. And Marisa, what's up? <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, mad science is right. It's definitely causing a little bit of madness. <laughs> so we're collecting every material and uh we've done a few experiments sort of just learning right now i'm just making uh brine hmm. maybe i just want to make it in a flask huh i have flasks of salt here let me uh beautiful Let me fix this down here. Yeah. It, you know, for a little while, I, I didn't really put one and two together. Because when I'm streaming, like, sometimes I'm... You know, you don't really think about some things. You're just kind of in the moment, you know? Or try to be, anyway. Um, and then you get your... your uh, whoops. Getting flooded, working on a lot of different, or talking to chat and just dividing your attention in a bunch of different uh, directions. So I wasn't, I didn't realize until just now, really, when I said that, that it, it is anxiety. <laughs> this does make me anxious. So, yeah, it's like. I'm just gonna, we're gonna make the brine in flasks, but I just wanna like. Get rid of the, these few little pixels of salt. Without, we gotta be careful here about that. It's so easy to destroy the swamp and just turn it all into peat. All right, whatever. It's fine. All right, so I got brine. All right, let's just. Uh. How do I want to do this? Hang on. Uh, just like spray a little bit out of that. Mix water in with it. Oof. Wow. That's not what you want to do at all. I lost 50% of my salt immediately. Well, that sucks. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it was supposed to happen. Huh. Crap. All right. Uh, I guess it would have been, well, all right, whatever. I guess we're just going to do this slowly. Maybe I'll do this off camera. I'm just gonna like. So it's not a one per one for one reaction or whatever. So we ended up losing forty eight percent, whatever it was at. That's crazy. But how did that do that? Like why? I've never seen like a material just completely. The flask was. It didn't make air. It just. I had. 
99, what, 99% salt, and then put like one pixel of water in, and all of a sudden it just instantly deleted half of everything. Or we ended up with what, 2% water, or 2% brine, 4% brine, and then the rest was salt, but like, it actually deleted material. Unless it did just turn it into air. Uh, yeah, that's just water. I don't want that in there. It's fine. Like, we have a bunch of brine. I'm just gonna do what I was doing earlier. Just grab it in a... Or, you know, put it in a... A pouch. Collect this salt and just slowly drip it back in. Or whatever. Maybe I'll just even... Yeah, this is fine. I don't care about the one pixel of moss. Oops. Uh, no, 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 no. Gotta be careful doing this. Let me just spray it upwards. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do this next time. So I feel like right now... We got some stuff done. It's fine. Making all those wands, or, you know, at least getting what I need to make good wand builds out of those. We got everything we need, which is great. Uh, don't want to accidentally cast that. Alright. And I think for now, that's all for this, for this run. Let me just empty this water uh, up in the fish pond. Wah, 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 wah. What was this again? Oh yeah, this is the infinite platform. Let me move that down. Because yeah, my ability to commentate while doing this is like ceasing I'm not able to I'm like getting quieter and quieter and stuff because I'm just like <laughs> like don't destroy everything all right so this might result in the fish going this way nope all right good here you gotta have more water oh wait Eh, whatever. Oh, I was thinking earlier, Lim, before we get out of here real quick. I was like, what if I can make my own water? Oh, wait, you may have been here. I was thinking every time these fish constantly beach themselves over here. I'm like, what if I create my own waterfall? Kind of uh, use Lumis to poke holes. Have like a little hollow right here with a Kia Skivvy in it and uh, poke holes so that the water can go in, but the fish can't squeeze in there, and then have fill it with water and have the Kiaskivi evaporate it, and then the, the steam will collect up here and then drip back down as water and push the fish back into the lake or the pond. It's like, what if I do that? <laughs> I kind of want to now. All right, let me make sure... This stuff's not broken. Okay. Games just keeps going. The anxiety just keeps on coming. <laughs> All right. These are all the materials that, like, need to be in flasks, or else they evaporate or just dissolve or whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoops, let me get those. It also seems like maybe the more... the more items, flasks, runestones, the more items you have around, the more, like, instability happens with them. Sometimes disappearing, maybe, or down warping or up warping. Random stuff. So I try to spread things out so that they're not all in the same chunk or whatever. 
just in case. Because I have things break down here, like this fire potion is probably going to break. Some of this stuff might break, like these flasks might break. Alright. All I'm doing now, I'm just going to empty this in here, this other little pond. And then I'm just going to back up the save again. And then uh, we'll do like a couple speed runs. We'll start with a Twitch integration run. Damn it. I need some, like, some stress relief after this. Like, just kind of, uh, like, kill me. You know? It's fun. It's fun to die in this game. It's fun to do a run after, like, working on this. Where, like, I don't care if I die. <laughs> Whatever. Kill me. It's fun. Uh, explode, like, cause explosions everywhere. Let's do this. Let's destroy everything. All right. I think we're good to log off now. 